Bilal Muhammad will defend his title against Shavkat Rakhmanov at UFC 310. Pantoja versus Asakura making his debut with a title shot. And we also have Nick Diaz faces Vicente Luque, which is all right. I don't want to see it at all, but we'll break that down as well. As well as Protest versus Magni at the end of the video. We'll start with, though, Bilal Muhammad versus Shavkat Rakhmanov. This is late. I don't know why I chose to do this late. I, I did. I I didn't. Um, I just had issues with my phone. But now we're good. Bilal Muhammad versus Shafkat Rachmanov. Um, this is an amazing matchup. Good matchup. I like it. This clears up the welterweight division, in my opinion. I need to say a few things. I'm going to get into the fight. I need to say a few things, though. I'll say the welterweight bit at the end. Who gives a fuck about that right now? Bilal Muhammad, respect for staying active. I know he isn't going to be a Pereira, but this is just reasonably good for him. And I like this for Alex Pereira. Not Alex Pereira. I like this for Bilal Muhammad. I like that he's staying active. He hasn't even fought. Remember, he was out since the Burns fight, which was May of last, last year. Middle of last year. May 2023. Then July 2024, because he waited, and they gave Covington the title shot, and it was just... Stupid. Covington should have had it, but I get it. They want him as champ. They got Bilal instead. Better than Leon, in my opinion, let's be honest. But still. Um, just because Leon, there's just nothing really there. So, but, but I know Bilal, Leon might be more entertaining, but it isn't by a large margin. But it, it, he's a striker, so it's an interesting. But still. Bilal Muhammad, respect for staying active in this, this, respect for staying active, Bilal. I am going to pick Shavkat Rachmanov here. I know a lot of people are looking at this fight um, and saying, Muhammad's too good. I think Bilal Muhammad shouldn't be counted out here. I don't think he should be. I think this is a very tough test for both men. I think Shavkat is just... He's got the different, mm, the danger in him. Edwards doesn't really have that danger. He's usually a technical guy. And with some kicks, Shafka has infinitely more power in his hands than Leon Edwards. We know that. Rock Jeff knew a bunch of times. Weak performance against Wonder Boy, but he finished him, at least. Like, finished Wonder Boy for a rear naked choke. No one's ever been able to do that, even Bala Muhammad. Couldn't do that, even though it arguably could have been stopped. I like a submission win over Wonder Boy. I know he was failing takedowns, but I don't think he'll need takedowns here against Bilal. I think his stand-up's good enough. Shaka, I think, just has more danger than Leon. I, maybe he's not as technical, but I think he is just there. Like, I think he is just... He's good. Good kickboxer. Good kicks in general, good high, uh, high kicks, head kicks, body kicks, good knees in the clinch. And just overall good elbows. Like he's, He can play that game. Play the range game. He did that against uh, Jeff Neal. Got caught a few times, but it's Jeff Neal. Who is good on some nights. Some, and he is bad on some nights as well. Don't get me wrong, he is. Some nights he's really good, some nights he's really bad. Bad night against Ian Gary. Hopefully, he'll have a good night coming up against Dos Santos, I think it is. I know, I know who Rafael Dos Santos is, RDA, but I think that's his opponent. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. But, you know, other than Jeff Neal catching him a few times, Shaftout was just majority, was just mainly winning that fight. So you've got to give that to him. And I think he will go out there and beat Bilal. Jabs will be good. Straight rights will be good. And I don't think Bilal's boxing is going to be enough to beat him here. If Jeff Neal is, is not good enough. With way more power than Bilal. So. And Jeff Neal schooled Bilal. I know it was a while ago and Bilal's improved. But I think Shafkat from that gym. Kilcliffe. Um, 
I think he can do well. We have saw guys like Burns got injured against Bilal. If he wasn't injured, it'd be interesting. Bilal probably would have won still, but it would have been a lot more competitive in my opinion. Would have been a lot more competitive. Luke in the second fight did well against Bilal. It was just the takedowns. Shavkat's shown good takedown defense. And he got nasty guillotine nasty guillotine as well. Nasty guillotine as well. So guillotine. I'm gonna go with um Chavkat. I like him here. I'm not gonna count out Bilal like I did it with him in Edwards. I really did count out Bilal there in that fight. But I'm gonna have to doubt Bilal here. I think that um Yeah, I think Sean Sean Brady he beat. I don't know why I'm mentioning Brady all of a sudden. Oh, yeah, I wanted to mention this at the end part here. That's why Brady came out. Sean Brady. I think he's fighting Ian Gary. That's in the works. I'll take Sean Brady there. But that's in the works, apparently. So, you know what? I say you do this. Since Usman's being a bitch, how about we do walking Buckley higher up than Usman against... Leon Edwards doesn't make too much sense, but if but again, if I can make this example forever, if Benoit Saint Denis, who you don't really, who doesn't really need a jump up, can fight number, he was number fourteen or fifteen by the way, beat Provola, can get number three Poirier on a big pay per view card, Buckley can definitely get Edwards. Buckley's number nine, Edwards is number one. You can do that. And Usman can fight JDM, because who else will he fight? That's what you do. That's what you do. And the rest, I don't care. So do that. I think Shafkat's going to beat Bilal, though. Respect for Bilal for staying active. He doesn't have much time left. He's 36. Probably soon turning uh, 37, I do believe. Yeah, I'm going to take, I'm gonna take Shafkat Rachmanov. Yeah, I think he's just, he's got power, more at power than Edwards, more fear. Not like, I keep thinking he's 19 now, he's 18 now, 18 finishes. He just has that, that present to him. I'm not going to say aura, because that word's fucking ruined by this fucking generation. But uh, he's got that, that, he just, he's got that invincibility to him. And I just don't see Bilal beating him. So, Bilal's good. Probably the best in the division besides Shafkat. And JDM. I think JDM could beat Bilal as well. But I'm going to go with um, Shafkat. We move on. Alejandro Pantoja versus Kai Asakura. Now, I'm going to say this right now. This makes a lot of sense. UFC. It just does. No, I'm joking. It does. I'm not going to complain here. Kai Kara France should have gotten the title shot. I think he should have. Beat Ursaig by round one KO. Pantoja lost to Steve Ursaig. He lost to Steve Ursaig. And he arguably beat Albazi as well. And his only loss was two years ago to Moreno. When Figueredo is still the flyweight champ. I earned you a title shot, in my opinion. Cara France versus Pantoja. But I get it. Would be weird to see Cara France with the title shot. I mean, he honestly could beat Pantoja. But I like this more. It builds more hype for flyweight, in my opinion. Not just to break the same old oh, Pantoja, Cara France, Pantoja, Moreno, Moreno, Roy Val. And Roy Val just beat Tyra. So, they would have had Tyra there if he beat Roy Val, but Tyra just lost. So, I think just in case, they made Asakura. And I think now you can do Kai Kara France versus the winner of Moreno Albazi. And then Roy Val can face the winner of this fight. Which I'm going to lean Pantoja. I think Pantoja's just better than him. Asakura's good. I've seen some highlights. I'm going to do a full in-depth of his career um, in the build-up of this. Like, when it's next pay-per-view around, or, like, right before, like, Jones Stipe. Like, I'm not going to do it, like, the next pay-per-view up. Like, no, I'm going to do it, like, right before, like, that time. Before the Jones Stipe time, I'll research Kaya Sakura's career and have my official prediction. And I'm going to lean Pantoja. Because what I've heard from people, 
He has pretty bad takedown defense. And he does soccer kicks and stomps, which is not illegal. So that's illegal. Illegal. So I don't know. I'm not going to pick him right now. I'm going to lean Pantoja. To beat Pantoja, you got to have skilled striking. This guy does. And power. Don't seem KOing Pantoja, though. And then, so that's good. Cardio, we don't know. Takedown defense, as far as I know, not the greatest. And Pantoja has ju- has the jujitsu, jujitsu, ju- jitsu fuck. He has the, ju- oh man, he has the jujitsu, BJJ. Let's just put it that. He has the BJJ, and I just don't think. And he has the wrestling as well, scrambles, and I just don't see Kai doing good there. Again, I'm gonna research this guy, but. Hopefully he wins, because that would make Flyweight interesting. Because Pantoja, I'm sorry, he's killing Flyweight. He's killing Flyweight. And Roy Val just beat Tyra. Took out Tyra. That's so sad. The guy that lost to Pantoja twice. I swear to God, I'm actually rooting for Albazi here now. If he loses to Moreno, Flyweight's dead. So we need this Kayasker dude to beat him. So I'm going to go Kayasakura. No, I'm not. I'm going to go Pantoja for now, but hopefully Kai wins. Yeah, we move on. I just think Pantoja's too good. Good on the feet. I think it's going to take something to beat Pantoja, I think. And Ursa was that, but we just saw him get derailed by Kai. Dude, it's actually a dead division flyweight. We need Kai Skur to save it. I might do a prayer video for him in the build-up. Gon Volkov too. We already know that's there. Luke Hay versus Diaz. <sighs> Just two calf kicks. Two big right hands. It's over. Diaz might show up, but it doesn't matter. He's not conditioned. Luke Hay beat Rafael dos Santos. Like, that's a good win. That was a, he did good countering the grappling. Jeff Neal and Buckley beat him. But, you know... Buckley's been looking great. Jeff Neal, he did lose that one, but do we trust Nick Diaz to go out there and just beat the shit out of him? Like, I don't trust him doing that. So I'm actually going to take Luke K by first round brutal KO. He's smart enough to look good here. Yeah, I'm going to go Luke K. Nick Diaz isn't Joaquin Buckley. So sad this fight. I don't want to see it. Why are you coming back, Nick? At least fight someone like Court McGee or something. He could win that. Like, because McGee shoots takedowns and Diaz has solid takedown defense. And Diaz can beat him on the feet. They can do that. Why do you have to give him Luke K? Rebooking this. Like, he's not going to win. If he does, fucking awesome. But he's not going to. Why not do Nick Diaz versus Kevin Holland? Where Holland will give him a chance to win, probably. By being stupid. Nick Diaz versus, like, well, not Roman Delizzi, but, like, someone decent, like, he, that one's that's, like, dumb enough to lose to him. Not Luke K, who is a head-on fighter and will go and charge you down and beat the shit out of you. They want Diaz to be charmed and flatlined. I'm going to go Luke K. We also got Sterling, Ev- uh, Sterling Evelov on the card. Gon Volkov, too. Reyes versus Smith. It's good fights, but we need that boom, you know, that big boom, that Patty Pimlet or something, you know, that's what we need, that Patty Pimlet sauce. That sounded really weird, but that Patty Pimlet fight against Dariush Moicano, one of these fights, we need that. You can put Gon Volkov to, you can put Sterling Nevelov on the prelims. You did it before, Sterling, you can do it again. Like... I need that Paddy Daryush fight. Paddy Moicano fight. This is what I need for that card. I don't mind it other than that, though. Um, we also got... I'm just going to look at this at the end here. Carlos Protest versus... Versus Neil Magny. It's a main event, which I don't mind, but... What? UFC Vegas 100 main event. This is what we get UFC? Vegas 100 main event should have been like Jan Figueredo. 
instead of having that in China, should have been you've seen like Mao Cow. Should have had you should have had that like as like Zhang Wei Li main event. Wonder where she is. Strip her off the title, and then do like Figueroa Yan for this Vegas one hundred hundredth Apex event. It should have been that, but no. It's protest versus Magni, which we're gonna see a murderer in this fight. And the murderer is named Carlos Protes. Protes will whoop him. Not even close. Magni's not gonna outgrapple him. He's not gonna beat him at range on the feet. When we saw Michael Morales, who I think probably loses to Protes, just destroy him. Yeah, I'm gonna go protest. Either any way he wants. Whoops him easily. Look what he did to Leech. Yeah, I don't know why they took away the Randy Brown fight. That actually was a decent matchup. I want to be protest. I think you gotta have big power to fluke the KO him. Not Magni. You know what they're doing here. They want protest to become something, and he most likely will. This guy's a savage. He's gonna whoop Magni like nothing in the first round. I don't see any path for Magni winning this. So yeah, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Yeah, that's all the fights. Um,